Hello Instagrammers and YouTubers, it's me, it's Michael, and welcome back to Retro Direction, uh, my YouTube uh, channel for video game, retro video game reviews, for the PlayStation mainly and the Sega Saturn, along with other systems coming in the very near future. Um, anyway, as promised, this is the third game of Sega's Big Three, and uh, back in the other reviews, you know, I said I wasn't sure whether I was going to do Virtua Cop 1 or 2. But, um, okay, we might as well go to Virtua Cop 2, um, because it's kind of a more complete um, experience. Anyway, we're going to go straight into it. Um, it'll be a much shorter review, thankfully. Now, first of all, this is uh, pretty much more of the same when you compare it to the first game, but it does have something extra. And what it is... Is that um, at certain points in the game you can select which route to take, and um, it's got an exclusive. Um, yeah, you could say it's kind of a Saturn-only mode. Let's go. But anyway, let's let's start off. First of all, for the un uninitiated, it's a light gun game, and it's a brilliant one. Now I have played this with a gun. And with the gun, it's the same as the arcade. But both in the arcade and in the home versions, I'm rubbish when it comes to aiming. So um, I tend to use the actual pad. And believe me, it's still brilliantly playable with a, a joypad as well. Now, depending on where you hit your bad guys, whether it's in the leg or the hand or the head, they react and twist and turn differently. I love the sounds they make. Yeah, so if you hit them in the hand, you get something called a justice shot message appear up on screen. Which means that you've disabled uh, their weapon arm. You've disarmed them, basically. I've played this for a while, as you can probably tell, because I keep getting shot. But anyway, yes, uh, for the best experience, it's really advisable to play it with a gun, but the gun won't work if you've got an, an LCD TV, I, I don't think. You'll have to have a CRT TV. But anyway, first of all, the improvements are quite significant. The graphics are still as good as the first one. Um, there's not too much difference, really. I mean, the graphics in the first one were superb anyway. It was practically the same as the arcade. There really wasn't much difference. Perhaps the frame rate is a little smoother in the arcade. Maybe, you know, 60 frames a second instead of 30 on the home version. But it doesn't matter. And you can shoot the environment as well. Certain things are destructible. This is one of those games like Sega Rally. No, no matter how time, how, how how many times you finished it, you're always going to come back to it. It's that good. And it's good that the actual bad guys react differently to, uh, you know, depending on what part of the body you shoot them in, whether it's the leg, the arm, the head, the shoulder, they react and fall about much differently. Now, there's a lot more variety to the game because, uh, first of all, it's not just going from level to level on foot. Here, you're in vehicles as well. You're on trains, you're in cars. So this is one of the uh, showcase games, really, where it proves that the Saturn can do 3D, and it can do it really rather well. Okay, minus a couple of effects like transparencies and, you know, some decent ray tracing. Oh, shit. <laughs> I just shot a civilian. Now, you can't do that. 
Well, try not to anyway. Sometimes it's even fun to shoot them. They shouldn't have gotten away, should they? Now this is gaming terms I'm talking here. Don't try this at home. Unless you've got a water pistol, then it's fun. Yes, you can riddle them with bullets as well and watch them go pirouetting around the place. Now, for those of you that are good at aiming, the experience of playing this game with the actual gun is incredible. I mean, I'm crap at aiming. I even had a gun when I bought uh, Time Crisis on the PS1. I just couldn't do it. I'm just not a good aim. Do you think that guy lobbing the grenades looks a bit like Duke Nukem? Now, um, just a quickie here. For those of you that don't have Sega Saturns, you can still experience this incredible game. First of all, it's available on the Dreamcast, but it's also available on the PS2, it's uh, and it's bloody cheap. You can get it for even less than one pound if you look in the right place. I found this for I think it was either 50p or 75p from Computer Exchange a few years ago. Maybe even just a couple of years ago I bought it. But um, yeah, it's available on the PS2. It's called Virtua Cop Elite Edition, and it. It, in, uh, it includes both Virtual Cops 1 and 2 with improved graphics, so you've got slightly different texturing, but you still get the same experience. It just looks a, li a little bit prettier, but not too different. Now, here's where you can choose which way you want to go. You can either go downtown or Seaside Drive. Now, I haven't chosen anything, but let's do Seaside Drive. So basically, it's got some replay value, because you can play it again and choose the route that you didn't choose in the first place. Pretty crap with a joypad, but I haven't played it for a while. But this thing does need a gun, trust me. I might look up some uh, action replay codes for it actually. But then again, if you play it on the PS2, you can automatically from the beginning you can select uh, free play mode so you can continue infinitely and you can just enjoy these two games as they're meant to be played with or without a gun. It's, it's nice to play it with the um, a dual shot controller. It's, it's very easy to play. So yes, non-Saturn owners, PS2 owners, you don't need to miss out. Uh oh. And you can play one of the Saturn's best games. Now the 3D is excellent, as you can see it's very smooth and um, there's a lot of it, I mean the, 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 the graphics are, are lovely and bold and chunky, I mean it's, it just goes to show that in the, in, in the right hands and programmed in the right way the Saturn can deliver 3D miracles really. I mean you've got other brilliant games that showcase the Saturn's 3D capabilities, as Duke Newcomb again, things like Quake. Uh, Duke Nukem 3D, Exhumed. Um, Hexen isn't bad either. It's a bit slow and clunky compared to the other two first person shooters, but uh, it's not bad. But we can touch on those in um, 
a further review. It's easy to shoot civilians by mistake. They just get in the way. Somebody help me! And you just blast them before you know it. Yes, you can shoot barrels and obviously destroy multiple opponents that are nearby. That's quite a nice touch. That does never get old. It's a bit like shooting uh, explosive barrels in, um, in Doom. But anyway, this is pretty much it. Um, I won't play through the whole game. It's pretty short, but uh, the thing is, it's one of those gems that you will always come back to, no matter how short it is. I, I still play the first one, both on the Saturn and the PS2, depending on which machine I've got, to, um, let's say, out and connected at the time. I just, uh, I play either or, really. And of course you've got the soothing Japanese style pop music in the background, the elevator music, smooth jazz, however, however it's called. And I know there's the big question looming, which is better, Virtua Cop or Time Crisis? <laughs> it's, I think this is pretty much personal here. I still play Time Crisis as well. I mean, that's I think that that's a really brilliant game. I think the little bit of charm that makes you have funny butterflies inside you when you play it time and time again, I think, has got to be Virtual Cop. Now, that's non-biased. <laughs> I do love Time Crisis, but I just think that Virtual Cop has the edge in terms of charm. Anyway, as you can tell, I'm not waffling so much in this one. There's no need. You can easily get engrossed in this, both watching and playing. Fire off. I've got no credits left, but I've got nine continues. Oh, here we go. This is your first boss. Anyway, Let's leave it there for now. This is, um, thankfully, it's a, a much shorter review. It kind of makes up for the uh, for the long ones I did earlier on, you know, for Sega Rally and Virtua Fighter 2. But, um, yes, definitely. If you have a Saturn, Virtua Cop 1 and 2 are superb games. You need to play them. If you don't have a Saturn and you've got a Dreamcast, you can play Virtua Cop 2. Um, if you have a PS2, get yourselves a copy of Virtua Cop Elite Edition, as little as a pound or less, and it's well worth your time because it is a fantastic game. Um, you never ever get tired of it. Anyway, as you can tell, it's practically arcade perfect. It's very smooth, there's not a hint of slowdown, and on each level you can select which way to go, so you can replay it as well, so it won't be over that soon as in the first Virtua Cop. Of course you unlock other modes. Uh, I think there's a, there's a ranking mode, there's like a target practice, then you can unlock mirror mode, where you can replay the levels, like, you know, in mirror mode. <laughs> and I think you can change the enemy placement as well, just to give yourselves a bit of variety and make the game a little bit more unpredictable. But however, look, I hope you've enjoyed this, and um, the next reviews, um, well, as I've got my Saturn connected, I might do just a few more Saturn games for you, then we'll go back to PlayStation and... Uh, 
I've got a hell of a lot of systems and a hell of a lot of games to go through. So, you know, hopefully we can uh, enjoy each other's company for, you know, a long time to come. Anyway, um, I'm thinking of also opening up a website dedicated to uh, retro gaming and uh, reviews and so on and so forth. So, um, yeah, let me know what you think. And anyway, I'll see you again on YouTube or I'll see you on Instagram if... Uh, any of my Instagrammers are actually following and having a look at this review. But in the meantime, I'll say grazie and arrivederci. And I will catch you very soon. And you know where you stand with retro. Ciao, ciao.